today we're going to talk about a particular upsetting topic and it will be upsetting to most of you you understand and today we're with sky yeah we're with sky juice again and um speak up and the man the bomb what? sky uh, sky <laughs> i love sky. it i love it all right people let's get into the video oh yeah let's do the youtube stuff like share comment subscribe yeah let's build a community and show love says here friends of the couple said Cole told them he did not like Logan and others said his attitude changed after becoming obsessed with the idea Williamson had slept with Logan's father Benjamin all right let's get into it right because um we've already heard about this story read about this story but this is the first time um hearing the phone call to the police and seeing the other video of the police camera right <clears throat> and she said we know the outcome already I'm just going to get straight into it, right? Knowing that she and her partner killed her son, the way how she acted over that phone call, you understand? And if you didn't know the situation, you would like this to know you believe this woman and think she's being um, genuine, think she would really miss her son, you understand? And all that type of madness, you understand? So she played the acting role well. She deserved an Oscar, and she's the one that deserved to be slapped by Will Smith. You understand? But what's your thoughts, Sky? Well, hearing it for the first time, without knowing the background, if you didn't know the background, I think it sounds a bit genuine. Maybe over-rehearsed, but genuine. You yeah, wouldn't yeah. think rehearsed or anything if you was hearing that on the phone for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you, A boy. kid's gone missing. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's mud a kid's gone missing and they know they done it and they rehearsed their story bro that was rehearsed are you telling me this is how gone the human mind is you, you you've basically killed your child 
but then you've sat back and rehearsed the story of with the you're person tell the police with the person that's helped you to kill your son it's disgraceful absolutely disgraceful man you understand i probably ain't gonna get through this whole video because it's it's yeah it's horrible man but yeah let's let's go <laughs> You know what's mad? You see, with baby Arthur's situation, it's literally role reversal. Yeah. You understand? It's role reversal um, compared to baby Logan. And sorry for the comparison. You understand? If it makes anybody feel bad, I do apologize. It wasn't meant that way. But it's basically now, it's the stepmom instead of the stepdad involved in killing the child. You understand? But then you have to ask yourself, like, like, where are the parents in all of this? Are the parents the one instigating it? Or are the parents the one allowing it to happen? Do you understand where I'm coming from? People, we need to vet people that's coming into your lives properly, regardless if it's friends, family, new lover, colleagues. We need to do this vetting thing properly. You understand? Because if you don't, you can see what's happening. You're potentially bringing harm to your child. You need to do proper risk assessment, people. Understand? Mike. baby p yeah man i remember that from a few years ago you understand and it shows like there's a lot of what do you call it mental issues happening in our societies because i have to class it down i have to put it down to a mental issue you can't be a sane person you it's it's impossible for you to be a sane person and doing stuff like this you understand like Peter Connolly died in London, aged just 17 months, suffering from more than 50 injuries. How are you in your right mind? How are you so inhumane? You can look at a child after you know when you've done this physical and mental damage. And social services, let's be honest, they're no use. Definitely pointless in this case, just pointless. And you know what's mad? In this case, this youth wasn't even being beaten. No, but just look at that house. Come on now. If you see a kid living like that, you wouldn't have nothing to say, no? How social services left the kid like that in that house? Just the house alone. I, that right there is neglect just by looking at it. It doesn't matter if she was beating the child or not. Look at the house. You know what? You got a major point. You understand? For real. How did social services come into this home? I get, I get, I get you didn't see neglect towards the child. But you could look at the home and see neglect. You understand? So that should have kind of correspond or translated to, okay, maybe she's hiding something about this child. Understand? Because this youth basically died from neglect. Mm -hmm. The flat basically showed them this. And they choose to look past it. And they don't do enough to help protect the young children. Come on.
mad this is probably the last one we're going to talk about because um i don't even want to watch no more this video man it's it's mad to think this is what moms are out here doing it's mad to think these are the kind of decisions that single moms are making you know and i'm not talking all single moms and at this point i'm talking minority you understand it's not majority you know but yeah man are you out partying Leaving your child at 10 different times. Looking for body and enjoyment. That's moving mad. That's moving reckless. And you're telling me the family didn't notice nothing whatsoever. Yeah, I doubt that very much, but, you know. What are you saying, Sky, man? I hear what you're saying, but... No matter if the family thought she was a good mum or not so good or what, you know, just not perfect. Nobody's perfect, but you can't say they knew because nobody would think somebody's going to run out to twerk for 10 nights on their birthday. No one. And leave a kid starving with no adult, a baby alone for that long. Nobody's going to think like that. No matter what you've seen from the mum, you're not going to think on that level. Absolute scum. This is disgusting. You know what I mean? You ain't even worth the toothpaste. But yeah, people, man, it's it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, you know. Yeah, we've well we haven't come to the end of the video, but I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and watch the full clip because there's more to see. So yeah, people man. We out. Bye. Clocks in the room, just books on a shelf. Hi.